Hey, if you're like me, you use the internet to get information on just about everything that you need when you're doing research. Now, whether you're planning a trip, doing homework, or just getting the latest rankings of the world's top tiddlywink players, printing out the colorful web pages just to get a couple paragraphs of text, sometimes is a big waste of ink. Most larger websites, like CNN, for example, have a print this or a print the text option to generate mostly text page of the content that they have so you don't waste valuable color ink. But that's not always good enough for all of us because they get to decide what's going to print and what's not. So this week's Super Geek Tip of the Week is how to choose exactly what it is that you want to print. So we're using Internet Explorer here, and what we're going to do is just click and drag over like the first two paragraphs. I don't want the whole story. I just want the title and the first two paragraphs or so of, of information. Now here's the trick. You highlight what you want, then you right-click anywhere on the text itself, and the dialog box will come up with an option to print. Okay. So when you click on print, here's the really important part here, and we'll make sure you can see this. Right down here in the middle page range, you'll see where it says selection. You want to choose selection. That tells it to print just what was selected here on this particular page instead of the entire page. So now instead of getting all the banners and all the crazy stuff that, uh, that the particular website is trying to give you, you can print out just what it is that you want, which is just what we highlighted. Voila! No fuss, no mess, and no ads. A handheld computers or personal digital assistants are quickly becoming the tool of choice for keeping track of calendars, address books, to-do lists, all kinds of different things. IDC Research, it's a big company that does a bunch of research, estimates that over 70 million of these bad boys will be in use by 2005. That means that if you're out there and don't currently own one, you're probably going to in the near future. Yeah, before you decide which one to buy, you need to decide whose software or the operating system that you're going to use. And that'll basically cut the field in half. There's two main camps in the PDA world. There's the Palm devices, and then there's the Pocket PC devices. Palm being the Palm OS, uh, which has been around a lot longer. Uh, so it'll tend to have more applications uh, out there available for it for download or as far as purchasing. And it's capable of interfacing with both Mac and Windows-based systems. Uh, generally less expensive because it takes less hardware to run. So these Palm-based devices start as low as about 99 bucks. And they top out at around $600 uh, from companies like Palm, Handspring, and Sony. Now, if you're a heavy Windows user, you'll appreciate the look and feel of pocket PC-based systems like this guy here from Compaq. They use a little scaled-down version of Windows that's similar to the interface you're used to. They have miniature versions of all the popular programs like Excel, Word, Outlook, all kinds of files and formats that you're used to working with. Now, Pocket PCs typically have more memory. They're better suited to multimedia like MP3 music files and are better equipped for use in a network environment. But all this comes with a much higher cost. They generally start at around 200 bucks and can go as high as about 750 So they are a little bit more suited for a power user than the casual user. And you can look for companies like Toshiba, HP, Compact Dell, uh, NEC AudioVox, I think there's a half dozen others maybe that all have these pocket PC-based systems. So if you're shopping for your first PDA, that's the personal digital assistant, and all you want to do is keep an electronic version of your day timer, the Palm OS-based systems are probably a better choice. But if you want to interface with both Windows-based applications and want to be able to play MP3 files and connect to your corporate or home network, a pocket PC-based system is probably a better choice. So if you need more information to make your choice, uh, check out all the resources we have posted at our website, datadoctors.com slash TV. All right. When we come back, we're going to show you how a hard drive works and see if we can bail a few of our viewers uh, out by email, answering some of their email questions. Stay tuned.